Hi everyone, my name is Ari Trigger and I work in the pre-sales department at ProVision ISR. Welcome to this tutorial on creating custom audio files. Custom audio files can be used with ProVision ISR cameras and NVRs to automatically play audible alerts in response to specific events. If you'd like to learn how to set up this very popular feature, click on the link now appearing on your screen for a step-by-step -step guide. However, in this tutorial, we'll focus specifically on how to create those custom audio files for Audible event triggered alerts. So let's get started. For this tutorial, I'm using two free software tools. The primary software is Audacity, which can be used to record and save WAV files. You can download Audacity from its official website for either Windows or Mac. The second tool is Wavel AI, which is used to generate text-to-speech audio. Before we dive into text-to-speech, you can also use your computer's microphone to record commands directly in Audacity. To set this up, go to the audio setup, select host, and choose Windows Direct. After that, select your recording device, which in my case is Stereo Mix. Once everything is configured, you can start recording by clicking the record button. Hey, get out of my property! When you finish, click stop to end the recording. The recording will appear in the timeline on Audacity. To replay it, you can click spacebar. Hey, get out of my property! If there are any irrelevant sections, you can click and drag to highlight them and then delete them. When the recording is ready, it's time to export the audio. Press Ctrl, Shift and E to open the export dialog. First, give your file a name and then select a destination folder on your PC. It's crucial to ensure that the audio file meets the strict requirements for ProVision ISR cameras and NVRs. The file must be in WAV format, no more than 8000 Hz, mono, 16 bit, and less than 200 kilobytes in size. To meet these requirements, you'll need to select the correct parameters during the export. Once everything is set, click export to save the audio file to your computer. Let's move on to using AI-generated text-to-speech audio. For this process, I'm using Wavel AI to create the text-to-speech output and Audacity to record it. I've already pre-configured the text-to-speech settings in Wavel AI, so the next step is setting up Audacity to capture the audio. Start by clicking Audio Setup again. This time, go to Recording Device Options and select Microphone Array. Once that's set, you're ready to record. Click the Record button in Audacity, then switch to Wavel AI and hit Play to generate the text-to-voice playback. Hey, I can see you in my cameras. Get off my property. Now, or I am calling the police. You'll notice that Audacity records the audio output generated by Wavel AI. As before, you can clean up the recording by deleting the irrelevant sections. Audacity offers additional customization options for your audio file. For instance, you can amplify the sound to increase the volume, Hey, I can see you in my cameras. Get off my property. Now, or I am calling the police. You can adjust the pitch and even modify the tempo as needed. Hey, I can see you in my cameras. Get off my property. Now, or I am calling the police. Hey, I can see you in my camera. Hey, I can see you in my cameras. Get off my property. Now, or I am calling the police. 
When you're satisfied with the audio, you can export it. Either use Control Shift and E or navigate to File to export the audio. Once again, name the file, choose a folder on your PC to save it, and double check that the parameters meet the device specifications. Just a reminder WAV format, no more than 8000 Hz, mono, 16 bit, and under 200 kilobytes. Finally, click export to save the file to your computer. You can upload custom audio files you created directly to your IP camera or NVR. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. I'm looking forward to seeing you next time.